Will Everton get their third consecutive home victory against the Blues? Or will Chelsea stretch their unbeaten run? Watch until the end of this preview to hear all of my thoughts on tomorrow's match. Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video, this is my preview for the match that will be taking place tomorrow evening at Goodison Park in the Premier League between Everton and Chelsea with kickoff at 8pm UK time. So what I'm going to do for you guys in terms of this preview is that firstly I'll be giving you guys the team news concerning both sides and as always I'll be kicking things off with the team news concerning the home side and in the case of tomorrow's Premier League match the home side will be Everton. I'll then be giving you guys my lineup based on the team news in which I'm going to give you. I'll also be giving you guys my four things in which I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Everton tomorrow evening and lastly I'm going to give you guys my score prediction. So without further ado let's get straight into this preview. So kicking things off with the Everton team news, there are two stories concerning the Everton first team, and the first one concerns James Rodriguez. And this story explains that James Rodriguez will miss tomorrow's match after picking up a calf injury in last weekend's 1-1 draw at Turf Moor against Burnley, of course. Um, that could be a big blow for them, but we'll just have to see. Um, that is the first story concerning the Everton first team. The second and final story concerning the Everton first team concerns Seamus Coleman and Fabian Delph. And this story explains that Seamus Coleman is expected to be fit in time for Everton's midweek trip to Leicester City. But Fabian Delph is out with a similar problem. Guys, this really isn't good news for them. Um, you can argue that some of them are more key to the squad than others. But yes, um, no injury is... Um, pleasant to celebrate if that makes any sort of sense so um these could be um key absentees for everton but we'll just have to see again but that is it for the everton team news now moving straight on to the chelsea team news there are also two stories concerning the chelsea first team and the first one concerns christian pulisic and you guys can probably guess what i'm going to say next because this player has has, has had problems with this particular system in his body but yeah, I'll just get into it anyways. Christian Pulisic has shaken off a hamstring twinge to be fit for the trip to Goodison Park tomorrow evening, um, which is great news. We have a massive problem with muscle injuries at Chelsea Football Club and it's about time we did something towards sorting it out and um, decreasing the chances of it happening. Of course, um, sometimes you can't really, sometimes it just happens out of the blue. Sometimes it's forced, sometimes it's as a result of bringing a player back too early, but I don't think this is the case with Christian Pulisic. I don't think it has been. And thankfully, he's managed to shake it off because he's had a bad history of muscle injuries. And I hope what I've just said about our problem with muscle injuries made sense. Um, I'll repeat that for you. I hope what I said about muscle injuries made sense. But yes, that is the first story concerning the Chelsea first team. Great news for us. The second story, not so good for us, and it concerns Hakim Ziyech and Callum hudson -Odoi. And this story explains that Hakim Ziyech and Callum hudson -Odoi will miss tomorrow's match and are expected to be sidelined for a fortnight due to hamstring injuries. And that literally confirms what I've just said about um, us and muscle injuries. We have um, a problem with it. It's, it's, it. I can't even find the words, guys. But this could be a big blow for us. Yes, it's great that Christian Pulisic is is able to travel to Goodison Park tomorrow evening. But Hakim Ziyech and Callum hudson Doi aren't. And that could put a strain on some of um, our players and certain areas of the pitch. L let me start again. That could, that could force some players to play when they're more likely to need rest. I hope that makes sense. But guys, this isn't good. Hopefully they recover as soon as possible in time for our big game against Arsenal and our um and the remaining games in this busy schedule but yeah they um they 
Uh, uh, guys, I don't know. I can't find the words. I just hope they recover soon. But yes, that is it for the team news concerning both sides. Some good and bad news for us. Some bad news for them. But yes, like I've just said, that is it for the team news concerning both Everton and Chelsea. Now for my lineup, and as always, starting off with the formation. I have chosen to go for 4 3 3 because Chelsea have been using it to great effect in their recent games, and I don't see Frank Lampard choosing another formation. In terms of the personnel I have chosen, I have gone with Edouard Mendy in goal. I have gone with a back four from right to left of Rhys James, Kurt Zuma, Thiago Silva and Ben Chilwell. I have gone with a midfield three of N'Golo Kante, Mason Mount and Mateo Kovacic. And I have gone with a front three from right to left of Timo Werner, Olivier Giroud and Christian Pulisic. So that is the lineup that I have chosen. Please do let me know if you agree or disagree with it in the comment section below. And please do put your lineups in the comment section below. I'd love to see them. Um, and I'll do my very best to respond. But as always, here is a graphic showing you guys the formation that I've chosen and the personnel that I've chosen for my lineup. Voila. Now for my four things in which I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Everton tomorrow evening. The first thing in which I definitely believe that we are going to have to do against Everton tomorrow evening is that we are going to have to shut down their midfield. And by this, I do believe that we need to not allow them to have any sort of space because if we do allow them to have space, then they'll most likely cause us problems because Everton have a great set of midfielders that are intelligent and technically gifted. Um, in addition to this, they, they do like to use their fullbacks um, when, whenever, they attack, whenever they are attacking, so we have to be wary of that. We have to shut down their midfield, otherwise they will most likely find their, their fullbacks or other players in other areas of the pitch and cause us problems, which is what they have been doing quite well to varying degrees of success this season so far. So for that reason, I do believe that we need to shut down their midfield. And guys, I do hope that made sense. But anyways, that is the first thing that I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Everton tomorrow evening. The second thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Everton tomorrow evening is that we must hit them on the counter-attack when possible. Yes, there are going to be times in tomorrow's game where we are going to be under quite a bit of pressure because Everton... Um, going forward they have improved a lot and I expect them to do that I expect them to do whatever they can to put us under a lot of pressure so for that reason I do believe that we not only have to defend well but we also have to hit, hit them on the counter-attack when possible because of course um, when a team presses they leave spaces in behind them and I do believe that with the players we have we can exploit that um, so, yes, I do believe that for that reason, we need to hit them on the counter-attack when possible. Um, in addition to that, it's not always guaranteed that we're going to be able to um, attack them and get through them. So, yes, that's that's another thing to consider for that point. But, yes, that is the second thing in which I believe this, uh, the Chelsea first team must do against Everton tomorrow evening. Almost lost my train of thought there. But, anyways, the third thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Everton tomorrow evening is that they must be physical and get stuck in. This is an addition to the first point in which I made. But yes, we do need to be physical because Everton do have quite a lot of physical players in their team and they are a team that does like to run a lot. They do have some very athletic players in their team. So we do need to be physical, not just in in, in our tackling, but in, in our pressing and our um, ability to get up the pitch with the ball as quickly as possible guys I hope I'm making sense but yes we do need to be physical and get stuck in and do whatever we can to um, win our battles and get the job done but yes that is the first thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Everton tomorrow evening and I'll say it again I hope that made sense the fourth and final thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Everton tomorrow evening is that we have to stretch their defence and get crosses into the box. We have some very good crosses of the ball in our team. Um, yes, one of them is absent with a hamstring injury in Hakim Ziyech. And another one is absent with a hamstring injury in Callum Hasker-Doy. But we have Rhys James and we do have 
players who are fantastic in the air. So there's no reason why we shouldn't be putting balls into the box in tomorrow's game. Yes, movement is key because there's always a chance that Everton are going to sit back and try to hit us on the counter-attack. So um, we do need to be moving off the ball as well. But yes, that is the fourth and final thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Everton tomorrow evening. Please do let me know what your four things are in the comment section below. Also, do let me know if, you, if you've agreed with the four things I've chosen. And I, and, and I will do my very best to respond as you, as you guys know. Sorry, I will do my very best to respond as you guys know already. But yes... That is it for my four things in which I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Everton tomorrow evening. Now to conclude this preview, I am going to give you guys my score prediction. I have gone with a 2-1 Chelsea win because I have a feeling that this is going to be a close game. Both sides have quality in abundance and honestly guys we have had some terrible times at Goodison Park. If the game at Goodison Park last season is anything to go by, we are due a win at Goodison Park. We haven't beaten them there since um, April 2017 when we last won the Premier League. So hopefully we get the job done. It's about time we beat them at Goodison Park. In our last Premier League meeting against Everton, we did beat them by four goals to nil. So we can get the job done against Everton. But yes, this is going to be a difficult game. Um, there are going to be fans at the ground, so that could be a factor that helps Everton, we'll just have to see. It could also be a factor that helps us, but w again, we'll just have to see. Hopefully we get the job done. I want to see some salted caramel after tomorrow's match. Um, that is it for this preview. I know that was an absolutely shocking pun. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support. Um, come on, you blues. Come on, Frank Lampard. I'll say it again. I want to see some salted caramel at full time tomorrow. And peace. Come on, Chelsea.